Yes, welcome back to 1860 Munchin. This is episode 11, and this is the end of series awards night. 10 years, 10 seasons at this great club. When we arrived, it was a shambles. Division 3, a dog side. The first episode was called From Rock Bottom, and Sir Bar said, Rock Bottom is a strong foundation for us to build because we've done it before what will be a Champions League winning side. We will be having one more episode after this, though, one more season to try and win the treble, something Sir Barth has failed to do with an RTG side. First award we're giving out, it's your award. It's the fans' player of the series. There's one percent in it between Castro and Sosa in the Macclesfield Town career mode. But only one man was ever gonna win this one. The Italian Stallion, Sandro Tonali. I can say with confidence, one of the best players we've ever had on career mode. Maybe the most complete player. Nobody can strike a ball like Sandro Tonali. Now, for goal of the series, we're going to be looking at the best from season one all the way up to season ten. I mean, yeah, that will be how it works. I'm going to be picking a top three, and then you choose out of that top three which one is your favourite. Now, the man that came second in your player of the series retired in season six. I just wish I sorted his contract out before he decided to hang up the boots. Grimaldi, the old dog was phenomenal for us in up top, used to throw his weight around. Oh, hang on, first of the three goals I'm choosing. I can let my commentary at the time take it away. Give it to Tonali. Tonali, I tell you what, just hit it. Oh, Tonali! Now he scores about seven more of them, but I just thought that was the pick of the bunch. A dead game, off the crossbar and in. Great stuff. No one in any career mode, in any rebuild, no player on FIFA 19 that I've used has a better strike than Sandro Tonali. He can even finesse him a lot. But now here's my favourite Grimaldi goal. I think it was the clinch promotion. First time, catches the keeper completely off guard. All he can do is watch it. Such a clever goal. As was this on Sandro Tonali. Flicks it up around the player, volleys it in. I don't know, is that in my top three? I'm going to have to leave it out. This is the year we signed Mr. Martinez. Well, you know what? I forgot about this goal. I forgot about that goal completely. There's nothing better than catching a volley, sweet as a nut, as it comes over your shoulder. I think it's the fridge who finally makes an appearance in this one. Great team goal against Dortmund. Oh, what do you know? It's Dortmund again. It's into Richarlison. Time stood still as he lifted that one over Roman Berkey. Oh, here's number two. Here's number two. Jesus H. Christ. Cubo, chest touch, wallop. I just love the way he swivels and turns on it. Bang. All in one motion. This was semi-final of the Europa League against Napoli. Arnie plays it into the feet of Edwards. The touch. Grimaldi. The flick. The back heel. Another back heel. It's such a sexy goal, isn't it? It's just... I can't believe it's not got top three, to be honest. What a joke. Who's judging this? Don't worry, we've got about three more of them coming from Sandro Tonali, including this one in the Europa League final. When he hits them, they stay hit. Hack will switch the play. And then it's a Di Canio-esque volley from Julian. It's then Quadra to play it into hudson Adoy. We've caught him on the counter. Hudson pulls it back. Which one do you like better out of them two? Oh, no. Right, I'm taking it back. Number one wasn't really number one. This one was the better Tonali banger by a mile. Forgot about it. It's further out. It's against tougher competition. And it set the tone for what the rest of this match was going to be. Forget it. I'm doing a top five. I did that for Macclesfield. I'm doing a top five. I don't think we'll ever score a goal like that one again from the fridge. The touch. The, the blase. Is that the word? Blase finish. Just a side foot it. Off the woodwork. Keeper just looks at it. Ah, that one might be my favourite. That was a beautiful little team goal, Cuba on the end of it. And now you should know what number five is. Our last game, Champions League final. It's that man again. Cruz! Yes! Last minute of the game. That is a ridiculous goal. God said all men are equal. This man makes you seriously question your faith. Hero. And that will transition us nicely to Sir Barth's manager's player of the series. There was definitely a point in which only one position was going. And either Hack or Cruz was going to take it. And one of them was going to have to sit on the bench and become the super sub. Hack is going to be my honourable mention. He's a great servant to the club. A legend, but manager's player. 
There's only one man. It's the LG fridge. It's Miguel Cruz. When Gramadi retired, he passed the torch onto the big Brazilian. He's carried this team all the way to a Champions League final, all the way to winning it. What annoys me is he just hit a brick wall when he got to 79 overall, but apparently that's because I was playing him striker and not his natural position, centre forward. Now then, for the most prestigious award of the night. Spack of the match. It's the award that everyone wants, but very few deserve. How do you judge who deserves Spack of the match? Or Spack of the series, I should say. There is no way of judging it. You just know. You just know who deserves it. And there's only one man for me. Your Spack of the series, Grimaldi. In real life, he's left Munchen and gone to SC Prubin Munster. And I think that's enough to give him the award. What a legend. In the last season, we'll be giving out one more award. And that's Golden Boot. But right now... We're going to be choosing our next RTG career mode side. We're going to the Italian second division first. Benevento, Stragoni, the Wizards. They currently compete in Calcio B, the second highest tier in the football league system of Italy. Despite having never played above the third division until 2016, Benevento lately achieved two promotions in a row and reached the top right in 2017. I can see Sir Bar saying that. I can see Sir Bar saying up the Wizards at the beginning of every game. Let's just have a little look at this squad. 3-5-2, I like it. Everyone's got a game face. Quite a young side as well. Hope he's actually got an afro. We've got names like Del Pinto. Puggioni. Ricky. Oh, yeah, he's got an afro. Showing great potential. I love the kit. The kit is sensational. Option number two. We're in Spain. La Liga 1-2-3. I was going to go for CF Royce. But none of their players have got game faces, and I'm not having that. So instead of going for the worst team, I'm going for the one with a bit of history. Malaga. Well, I say history. 1994 they were founded. I think it was 2013. Malaga had Negredo, Isco, Delefeu, Yavi Garcia, Benat, Alexandro, Willy Caballero. They don't quite boast that calibre of player now, but I don't mind the look of them. And we've got some game faces in the building. That's what I like to see. Now then, option number three. Reveal yourself. We've got Paris FC. Remember, ladies, no likey, no lighty. Does Paris FC make you fanny flutter or stutter? It'll be the exact same concept as 1860 Munchin. Taking down the Hollywood side and becoming the only team in Paris. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's all the options. What's next? We've done Mac Town, Smack Town. We've almost done 1860 munching. By the time FIFA 19 is done, I want Spain ticked off, I want France ticked off, and I want Italy ticked off the list of RTG sides we've won the Champions League with. Now, I saw someone comment this and I thought, great idea, let's do that. A joint Macclesfield and Munchin 11. Between the sticks, I'm going for Lafont. I believe he's the best goalkeeper we've had. Right back, hasn't got a face. The players that I've created haven't got a face. Is Becker. Went from like 50 to 95 overall. Centre back partnership, Kimpembe and De Ligt. Left back to complete the defence is Hernandez. This is where it got really difficult. Right mid, Chong. Left mid, the Prince. And then for the greatest centre mid partnership of all time, Tonali and the Hitman. Then the strike partnership, the LG Fridge just misses out because I couldn't really be asked to make another player. Grimaldi and Sosa. I still miss you, mate. I still miss you on your Wikipedia page. But is there anyone I missed out? Cubo, Woodburn, the Samansky brothers, Semedo, Quadra. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, phenomenal side. But now here's something that I've had in the works for a while. There's been whispers and rumours of an Ultimate Team series. Before I give it the green light, I want to know what you lot think. Roy Keane, Patrick Vieira. It's an Ultimate Team, Road to Glory, where these two will play every game. They'll start with bronze players around him, something like that. And for every win or for every Patrick Vieira goal scored or Roy Keane man of the match, I haven't sorted the rules out yet, we'll get a random player from Arsenal or Man United, past or present. So the team could consist of players like Podolski, Abamian, Rooney, Hernandez, Ibrahimovic, Ryan Giggs, Thierry Henry. You get the gist. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that, thinking of calling it Patrick and Roy or Roy and Patrick. Next on the channel will be a Becoming the Goat vid, then it will be the finale of Munchin, then the next RTG in the description below, go and vote. And then this, if you wanna see it, 
But yeah, as always, guys, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I will see you in a bit.